Hello, Audioholics, this is Logan. And similar to my co-host, Tyler, I will be going over a new multi-part series where I get into a genre for more or less the first time. So, if you have not seen Tyler's video, or if you are unfamiliar with what I am talking about, I highly recommend checking it out. He posted it a few days ago, and basically he will be getting into prog music. So prog rock, prog metal, similar types of prog music throughout the decades, and, you know, things like that. I will be getting into trip hop. So a bit of an introduction. I have a little bit of experience with trip hop, but I am going into this I think relatively nuanced. Um, like I have listened to Portishead a little bit. I have been a fan of Thievery Corporation for a little while. In fact, I own one of their albums on vinyl. It's very, very good. And obviously I'm a fan of the television show House, so I have listened to Teardrop by Massive Attack. But beyond that, I haven't really listened to much trip hop. Now, there are some, to contrast this with what Tyler is doing, he's doing prog music, which is a very broad genre. And in fact, I don't even know if it really has any kind of specific definition. Trip hop is, well, a subset of a subset. And as a result, it is a little bit more strictly defined. However, I've found that there's a lot of overlap in my research, there's a lot of overlap with genres such as shoegaze and dream pop. For example, a band that I really like, Cigarettes After Sex, I always assumed was trip hop. But as a matter of fact, I think the major definition I've heard is shoegaze. Um, that's how many people would define them, but they also have several other genre definitions that other people have given them. It's all very complicated. But there will be some overlap with shoegaze, possibly trip hop, um, dream pop, so similar things like that. Um, these are a bunch of... So basically what I will be doing is I have a list of 20 bands and I will be listening to two albums by each, so 40 albums. Now, this will be uploaded every Sunday, and uh, assuming everything goes without a hitch, this is, well, a 20-week project, so about five months if you've done basic grade school math. I think that this will be very interesting, because, again, I am going into this as a slight newbie, and I hope to be able to expand on something that I have a vague appreciation for already. So, stay tuned for the next video. I will be going over Tricky. Goodbye for now.